In this video, we are going to see about Securico Speech Dialer or Telephone Dialer. The model number is SD2000. So, why I need a telephone dialer in my premises? So, if I have a fire alarm panel or intrusion alarm panel installed in my premises and when this panel goes into alarm, I need a notification over my mobile phone. So, those scenario people will sell by this dialers in the market there are two types of dialers are available one is telephone dialer other one is gsm dialer so in my office or in my premises i have a landline connection or i am okay to take a landline connection people will go with a telephone dialer or if they have any challenge to take a landline setup people can go with gsm based dialer also here we will see about the connection or pin details about this particular dialer. So if you see here there is a telephone line input provision a telephone line connector is there which is called RJ11 connector. So if you open this dialer you will see the pin details about it here. If you see so first we will talk about telephone line port. So this RJ11 connector is getting connected with yellow plus and yellow minus on this particular dialer so yellow plus and yellow minus is nothing but line out so which is normally input will get connected with telephone line input should get connected with li plus and li minus pin on this particular dialer so if we have a telephone line connection you can take the wire through this hole and you can connect it with li plus and li minus on this particular dialer and if you have a tel telephone line in your house what you can do this wire is nothing but the output and you can connect your telephone on this particular jack so that whenever you install a, a telephone dialer setup the input the first line should get connected with my dialer then only you have to connect it with your telephone line because in case if you forget to uh, place uh, your receiver properly then your line will be always in encaged mode so that the dialer may not work properly so whenever you connect a yeah, telephone dialer setup first the line input should goes to your dialer then from the dialer output you have to take the out and connect your telephone line or your telephone and in some cases if you don't have any uh, telephone line or telephone uh, <coughs> telephone setup in your house or you are not going to use that particular line for any other purpose it is only dedicated for this particular uh, dialer then what you can also do you can remove this yellow plus and yellow minus wire and connect it with li plus and li minus pins so that whatever the telephone line input comes now that you can connect directly to this particular jack so that it will get connected with my telephone line input on my dialer so now we will see about the power connection so here there are two pins v plus and ground is there so here you this dialer will work on plus 12 volt dc and ground can be connected here or you can use a 24 volt dc also so this is a common terminal where you can connect uh, dc to load or DC 24 volt and so we will see about other pin details so here if you see there are NCI there are two pin connector which is shorted with a small jumper called NCI so normally NCI is not, uh, is short form of intrusion and I plus is again designed for intrusion trigger and ground then if you see ncf and f plus normally f is for fire so this particular dialer will have two type of applications can be integrated or connected at a time here example nci and i plus you can assign it for one type of trigger and ncf and f plus can be used for another type of integration example in my office i have one intrusion panel and one fire alarm panel i can use this single dialer for intrusion as well as fire panel integration so 
how we can connect this dialer with the third party devices we'll see here so this dialer will accept three type of trigger on each input example you have a intrusion panel which will give a passive trigger what is mean by passive trigger in normal mode this dialer won't give any passive voltage at the time of intrusion it will give a plus 12 volt that is called passive trigger if the device or the intrusion panel or the third party device is going to give a positive trigger at the time of alarm i can connect it with i plus terminal and if my device it can be intrusion or fire alarm panel or any third party device which will give a negative trigger what is mean by negative trigger normal condition it won't give a ground voltage and at the time of alarming it will give a ground voltage that is called a negative trigger in those setup i can connect that negative voltage terminal in any of this nci terminal so this nci terminal should be in short and this trigger wire can get connect any of this two terminal so this is called ns negative trigger and the third option is relay output so that means in the in that case you need to remove that jumper nci two pin connector shorted with a jumper you need to remove that particular jumper and you have to connect common and nc terminal on this particular two pins so that in normal condition this will be always in short so that the dialer will also will be in normal condition when it goes into alarm when the panel example you have a ravel panel ravel panel will have a fire relay so normal condition it will be common nc it will be as in a short so when the panel goes into alarm the nc will change into no so that this short will get open so that it will dial so my dialer will accept three type of trigger negative trigger positive trigger and relay trigger so all three options can be used for each interface so for nci and i plus you can use one type of trigger and ncf and f plus you can use it for another device to be integrated and this is same applicable for my ncf also example ncf uh, the same ncf terminal if you are connecting a relay output you can remove this short terminal and connect that common and nc terminal on ncf pins or your device is giving a negative trigger you don't remove that ncf uh, short jumper you keep that jumper as it is and give the negative trigger input on any of these two pins and third option is f plus which is nothing but passive trigger normally the passive voltage won't come whenever my third party device goes into alarm condition it will give a passive voltage so that is called a passive trigger so this all about the triggering now we will see how to program this dialer so this particular dialer how three type of programmings as we see earlier one is for nci we can tell us intrusion trigger or it is not necessary as a intrusion but one type of trigger nci trigger other one is ncf trigger and third one is help option so if the device can use it in three mode one is with nci and i plus trigger pins and other one is using ncf and a plus trigger and the third option is without any trigger if there is an emergency I, if i can press the help button so that it will also dial so i can use it in three mode one is using nci and i plus i can program 15 numbers and i can store a separate uh, message the same way ncf and f plus I can store 15 numbers and I can feed a different message onto this dialer and third option is if, if there is an emergency 
I can pr just press this help button so that the dialer will go into alarm mode and by ex by receiving that message the person who is receiving the call, attending the call can understand whether it is from trigger 1 or trigger 2 or it's an help message so based on that we need to record the required messages so that whenever somebody get at, accept the call or attend the call he can understand that it is from this particular input or this is from fire alarm panel or this is a help message now we will see how to program this so to program the number it is very simple you need to press 1 2 3 4 then you need to press 3 then if the number is programming related to the intrusion trigger or NCI or I plus just press I then you need to give the number example uh, my landline number 0 after 0 only my call will go so I am just 0 and then again 0 double nine four zero and I am entering my number so once you enter your first number you need to press help once you will get a single beep sound now you can enter your second number whatever the number you can give it the same way you can once you enter the second number again you press the help button now the dialer if you dial you can dial the third number so once you enter all your numbers this dialer will support maximum 15 number for each trigger so once you complete all the numbers you can press this help button two times so that the led will goes off so this is the way you can feed the number so i i just tell about uh, programming a fire trigger number again one two three four again three for fire another trigger i need to press f and then give my number so once i enter the first number i need to press help then I need to give the second number, then help. So once you enter all your numbers, maximum of 15, you can you need to press help two times to exit from programming. So my third option is help emergency. If if there is a old person is there in my house, so in case of any emergency, he don't know how to dial and out. So what you can have this dialer there so that you can program your number so that he, he need to just press the help button so that the dialer will start to dial to the programmed number so here how to program the number again is help press one two three four then three then help then you enter your number whatever the number once you enter the first number press help once and give the second number help once like that you can give maximum 15 numbers so once you completed that you can press the help button two times so this is the way you can feed the numbers then you have another option like how to arm this so if you are going to use ncf or f plus or nci or i plus trigger you have to arm this dialer that means to arming this the password is 1 2 3 4 and then press 5 so that the arm led will glow now if my dialer is getting any trigger a positive trigger or a negative trigger or a noncy trigger getting activated to the corresponding input it will goes into alarm so that the dialing led will also will blink and the dialer will at a uh, ring to the programmed number sequentially if you enter five numbers it will die to the first number then it will come after completing the first number it will die to the second number even the first second number person attended it will die to the third number so it will dial all five numbers and once the numbers completed then again it will start from one two three so like that it will attempt three times so before that if somebody stop it by pressing 1 2 3 4 the dialing will get stopped so if the pan dialer want to dial it should be always in arm condition so arming the dialer is again 1 2 3 4 then 5 
the dialer will be in arm condition but if i want to get a help call so that means if i want to get diag if there is a third trigger first one is ncf a second one is nci and the third option is help so to getting a help call or help dial you don't want to arm this dialer at all you just need to press the help button once the dialer will start to dial to the particular number so if you want to stop it you need to press the corresponding password but the password will accept even it, it start to dial the number before that if you press it won't accept at all and sometime you may require to record your own voice so that means there is a trigger intrusion trigger you can program one message of 20 second the second trigger is fire that also you can have your own voice of 20 second so that can be recorded onto this particular dialer to record a message onto this particular dialer you need to enter the user code which is nothing but one two three four the program led will blink now you need to press two then you need to press i i for intrusion message recording once you press the i and it will you need to speak very next to that mic so that it will record your voice of 20 second time and if you want to record for your fire message or if you are using a fire trigger one two three four two then you need to press f to record your fire message or the second message and if you want to play those recorded voice and if you want to hear those recorded voice you need to press one two three four program led will blink you need to press one then you need to press i to listen the intrusion message or if you press f you can listen your fire message whatever you recorded again you are already given some number uh, example you uh, you want to feed some 10 numbers on this dialer for intrusion trigger and you had given five numbers first and you exited from the programming and now you want to program your sixth number you cannot go directly and program your sixth number so you want to start from the beginning that means one two three four then three then i you need to give first number then press help then again second number help third number help fourth number help fifth number help sixth number help that is the way you can give your number you cannot delete any number in between if you want to delete example i want to delete my fifth number from this particular dialer you cannot go directly and delete the number you need to reprogram all your number once again then only that number will get delete and finally so whenever you use this dialer you need to ensure you to arm this dialer so example you are whenever you are you are connecting this dialer with a security panel so you whenever you go out you may arm your panel so the same moment you have to arm this dialer also or if you are connecting with a ravel or any third party fire alarm panel so panel side you won't do anything but this dialer should be always in arm condition then only based on the trigger it will respond if the dialer is not in arm condition it won't respond based on its trigger input thank you